inventory. You want to be a salesperson and not an order taker. Even though she was nice. Even though she kind of redeemed herself a little bit at the end. The gal that I talked to on the phone, was she a salesperson or was she an order taker? She was an order taker. She was just a nice order taker. Write this down, please. Don't say no. Quit telling people no at the first point. Now, here's the second piece of this, though. We're never going to lie to anyone. You don't have to lie to sell cars. You've got to be 100% honest. It's just not worth the heat. It's just not worth the drama. So I'm never going to lie to anybody. On the flip side, you don't have to tell everybody everything right out of the gate. Okay? Somebody make up a car that doesn't exist. Literally something that's never been made before. Yell it out. 1970. You're looking for a 1970 Kia? Oh, that is a? Great You definitely called the? Great right. I'm going to do this. I'm going to check on that 1970 Kia for you. And while I'm checking on the 1970 Kia, I can also check on other stuff that's like it, too. Are you looking for just 1970-ish style cars or just something classic in that price range? Price range. Okay, cool. Awesome. And people will expand. Now, what would happen if I called a regular place and said I wanted a 1970 Kia? You know those don't even exist? What do you call them? You just don't worry about it. You got to be smart enough to be what? A little dumb at the start of the phone call. Just don't worry about it. Same thing in the greeting. Hi, welcome to. Oh, you're looking for a 1970 Kia? Well, you definitely came to the right place. Before you go home today, we'll go for a drive. We'll get your prices, payments, all that stuff in writing. Don't overthink it. 